Hello everyone. Vintage lenses can be hard to come by. They give our pictures a quirky and nostalgic look. Lenses these days are made to give extra sharp, extra clear, and extra perfect images. This can end up making the pictures boring. The subtle vignette, controlled flare, and different colors make a picture stand out among others. There are a number of options on the market, which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compile the list of the top five best vintage lenses on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, we have the best vintage 85mm portrait lens, the Jupiter 9 85mm f2 Russian portrait lens M42 mount. This lens has a great build and is sturdy. The circular apertures result in a beautiful bokeh that is one of the best points of this lens. The images produced have a good color contrast and little distortion. The flaring, when used properly, can give your landscape images a good look. Its pros are, it's made of aluminum, making it very light. It has 15 rounded aperture blades for great bokeh. It gives some flaring for vintage images. The chromatic aberrations and distortions are not noticeable. And at wide apertures, it gives soft results that are used in portraits. However, the focusing ring is hard. The bottom line is, it has a maximum aperture of f2. It has a focal length of 85 millimeters, and it's the best vintage 85 millimeter portrait lens. Next, we have the best vintage 35 millimeter lens, the Voigtlander 35 millimeter f1.7 Ultron Chrome A Spherical Leica M. This lens gives images a cinematic look. The price is not much of an issue, considering the quality and sharpness of the images. The build quality is also great. People mostly use this with Fuji cameras. It gives great color contrast and a smooth bokeh when used properly. Its pros are, it has a good and easy to use manual focus. It has a great aperture for low light photography. It has a black aluminum finish for a vintage look. It uses a 10 blade diaphragm for a creamy bokeh. And it's an aspherical lens to reduce any distortion and aberrations. However, it is more expensive than others. The bottom line is, it has a focal length of 35 millimeters. It's the best vintage 35 millimeter lens, and it has a maximum aperture of f1.7. Next, we have the best for the money, the Helios 77M4 50 millimeter f1.8 Russian vintage lens. 50 millimeter lenses are always versatile and can be used for anything from street photography to landscapes. You can use this vintage lens for low light photography as well because of the wide aperture. It is not too heavy and can be carried around easily. Its pros are, it's lightweight and compact. The bokeh is smooth and creamy. The focus ring is smooth and easy to use. The images are very sharp at f1.8 aperture as well. And it has little chromatic aberration and vignetting. However, the aperture ring is hard to turn. The bottom line is, it's the best for the money. It has a focal length of 50 millimeters and a maximum aperture of f1.8. Next, we have the runner-up, the Voigtlander Color Scopar Pam 35mm f2.5 wide-angle manual focus lens. The small size and low price are great selling points of this lens. Many people use this for street photography. The sharpness of the images is great, and the coloring is found to be well-balanced and natural. Its pros are, it is a lightweight and compact lens, it gives sharp results for a vintage lens. It comes with a lens hood to protect from flare. The pancake design lets it not stand out too much. And the manual focus gives the photographer more control. However, the lens cap is not of a good quality. The bottom line is, it has a focal length of 35 millimeters. It has a maximum aperture of f2.5. And it has a unique design with great control. Finally, we have the best overall, the Voigtlander Lens f1.4 35mm Nocton Classic SC Frame M. This lens has great focus and gives sharp images. 
People love using it for day-to-day -day use. It gives images with some character that vintage camera lovers want in their pictures. The handling of the lens is easy. It is lightweight, compact, and pretty strong as well. Its pros are, the lens is small and compact. It is comparatively very inexpensive. The colors and bokeh are good for a vintage lens. It's a single coated lens for a classic look to the images. And the images are not too sharp and have a glow for the classical look. However, the barrel distortion is hard and there are some problems with exposure. Bottom line is, it has a maximum aperture of f1.4. The focal length is 35 millimeters and it gives the most stunning images with a vintage look. There you have it, our top five best vintage lenses on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let us know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.